Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Appa in case you guys are new here and I apologize if I sound a little bit off. It's because I just woke up and I am trying to get things done and this was one of the first things that I wanted to get done today. I have a bunch of chores to do. I have to take someone to the store as well. So I just have a lot going on today and it is Labor Day and I did post my Ulta and AliExpress haul. If you have not checked that one out, please go ahead and check it out. It airs at 10 a.m. today and this video is um, being filmed at 8.26. Yes, it's a little early. I'm actually also using my ring light so that's why um, the lighting I think is a lot better um, because it's kind of gloomy outside I don't know if you can tell but it is a little bit gloomy but yeah let's just go ahead and get started so this is my usual basket I am not gonna go through every single item in this basket because you guys know already what these products are my favorite eyeshadow primer is the essence eyeshadow primer and I only have this one at the moment and then you know setting powders I think I dropped something but this is the setting powder and then also um, my under eye powder which is also from elf and then also you know my eyebrow stuff so we're not gonna go through every single item over there but let's just go ahead uh, with the eyeshadows first I honestly um, have some things on my mind um, in terms of what eyeshadow I want to use a little bit more this month and I think I'm either gonna go with the Supreme Seductress from Prism Makeup or the Supreme Femme because someone has requested me to um, do a review on these two I love them but I want to do like demos and you know a full day review maybe I'll use one of these eyeshadows today and do a check-in with you guys in the evening so I think I'm gonna take these two eyeshadow palettes with me and oh I probably should show you guys what they look like on the inside so this is what the Supreme Fam looks like Supreme Seductress is more of a neutral eyeshadows. I have been using this, but for the review, I do want to, you know, like do a demo and stuff like that. So I'm going to use it for that purpose. And then I also want to do an Essence uh, palette get ready with me. So I think I'm going to use the um, Essence Spice Up Your Life palette. I have talked about this before, but I don't think I have done like a get ready with me or any kind of demo or anything so i want to do like an essence product focused full face so i think i will be using this i absolutely love the color scheme in this palette it's just so beautiful and so fall appropriate and i am so ready for like sweater weather you guys like it's been cold but it hasn't been super cold during the daytime so i haven't really been able to wear sweaters um yeah but i want to wear sweaters more often sorry guys i had to move my ring light a little bit it's behind my camera now instead of being in the front um so these are my lip liners i obviously want to you know use more fall colors so i'm gonna go stick to like the plums and the reds for now and maybe one neutral lip liner so um, this is by Jordana and I don't think you can find these in the stores anymore but this one is in ruby stone and the other one is also from Jordana and this is in not dark deep it's deep plum I believe um, I labeled them with the lipstick shade that I want to use them with so it's hidden there, but it is deep plum <clears throat> and Another lip liner that I most likely will try to use is this one from essence and this is in I don't think I can see the soft berry. I really like this one as well. This is a really nice um, you know what is it berry shade and pink shade and as usual I will probably have a more pinky nude lip liner because of clinicals I do have to wear 
you know, um, lip liners, not as bold for my nude lipstick. So um, those are the four lip liners that I will use. And then moving on to some more eye makeup. I think I'm just gonna try to use more of these um, eyeshadow primer and this mascara. This mascara is okay. The eyeshadow primer I'm not really that big of a fan of, but I still want to use this one just so I can um, use the ones that I really like. So this is actually from CoverGirl and it's their Lash Blast amplify primer but i'm not really that big of a fan and um i do like the mascara that this one did come in a set i'm sorry guys i don't know what's happening with my voice but this one did come in a set and i do like the mascara for lengthening not really for voluminizing but for lengthening so i will use them for sure and i think the eyeliner that i'll continue using is this sexy booster by physician formula so i will continue to use that um and i think uh that is it for my eye makeup for now and then we're gonna move on to the back now contouring palette that i was thinking about using for this month is the sweet treats confetti confectionery contour palette my bad and let me just show you what it looks like it does have a cream base i don't always use the cream base um you can use this as eyeshadows and blushes as well if you want but i'm gonna be using you know probably the bottom shades for contouring purposes okay you guys moving forward with highlighters these are probably one of my most favorite um why is a blush here i don't know why that blush was here but highlighters are my all-time favorite products um for makeup like i just i just love them and i have a problem clearly but i think because i'm doing you know the essence makeup like the get ready with me i think i'm gonna go with the essence pure nude sunlighter there's another shade from essence that's there and i'm trying to look for it but i honestly don't know where it is oh, it's right here so i have two of the essence ones and this one is in the highlighter which is a little bit weird and um, why they have it labeled sunlighter and highlighter so I'll just show you guys the comparison between the two ignore this swipes of paper I don't know why it's there but basically uh, one is darker than the other and one is more appropriate for medium skin tone I can't really open it okay here it is so this is the sunlighter and this is I feel like more appropriate for medium to deep skin tone I can still use this highlighter one because um it's because i'm not i i might appear a little bit darker on camera and even though like i am a medium skin tone um this still applies as a highlighter on me but if you're darker than me i would probably skip this one um this is more of an everyday highlighter for me so i feel like it would be more appropriate for like clinicals but if i want to you know just you know go full glam i would use this one but i like them both um here is the side by side comparison as you can tell that's a little bit lighter but i do like both of them um and i do use them but like i said if you are a little bit darker um, i would uh, skip this one okay guys moving on to um, blushes these are all of my blushes and i think i'm just gonna go with jordana this time jordana i just can never go wrong with them and this is in the shade terracotta it's a really nice light um orange color and i really like that so i feel like for clinical days that would be appropriate i also want to try the elf one and i have not used this elf mineral blush in a really long time and this is in the shade wanderlust and i think i need to use this one more it is a little bit more pinky i do prefer 
orange or peachy blushes but I need to use um, some of these <laughs> other shades that I own. Okay, lastly, the lipsticks. Um, honestly, guys, I think I'm going to mm -hmm. stick to mainly some fall colors, but I don't want to do, like, you know, your standard name brand lipsticks. I think I want to do um, the ones which are a little bit harder to find this month. So this is by Nicole Miller. I did find this one at Marshalls or TJ Maxx and I want to use this shade and then this one is by Nika K and this is their true matte liquid lipstick I know it looks a little bit dirty but I apologize for that um, Melania's name brand is there any other like just off brand liquid lipstick that I want to use yeah this one is also another like shop miss a liquid lipstick and it's by the brand amuse and i want to use this one um what if i get tired of liquid lipstick what am i gonna do then i probably will um use some of my milani ones i think we're gonna go with matte flirty i think that's a very nice um mauve or not mauve my bad like dark plumish purple shade and then another fall appropriate i feel like would be alabama from the nyx's matte lip matte lipstick collection so those are five uh, lipsticks that i just picked guys okay, so that is an overview of what i picked up for the month of september you will see some of these products in action eventually but yeah thank you so much for watching it means a lot i know you guys want to see more hauls and more you know um get ready with me and stuff like that and i promise you i will get to it um, but I thought I would just film this for those of you who do want to see the products that I will be using during the month of, you know, September. Thank you so much for watching and talk to you later. Bye.